Butts, a backstory by Heather Radke, is an exploration of how society's relationship with the human buttocks has evolved over time, illuminating the intricate ways culture, politics, science, and history have shaped our views on this part of the body. The book delves into the early perceptions of the butt, considering how ancient civilizations worshipped and celebrated the rounded form in fertility goddesses. Radke highlights how the butt's significance varied, playing roles from the erotic to the maternal, depending on the societal context. Moving through history, Radke explores the changing standards of beauty and how people have manipulated their bodies to fit these ideals. She discusses the advent of bustles and corsets in Western fashion, which exaggerated or minimized the buttocks, depending on the era's beauty standards. The Victorian era, for example, saw a fascination with the butt's concealment and control, reflecting larger societal expectations of modesty and the suppression of female sexuality. In the realm of science, Radke examines how pseudoscientific claims, such as those made in craniometry and phrenology, were made about the butt to justify racist ideologies and practices. She discusses the racist underpinnings that connected the size and shape of buttocks with intelligence and morality, placing the bodies of black women, particularly Sarah Bartman, often known by the derogatory name Hottentot Venus, at the center of a dehumanizing European gaze. The author also analyzes the intersections of race, class, and body politics, detailing how the butt has been a site where power dynamics related to these identities are worked out. For instance, Radke looks at the ways black culture has celebrated the butt, often as a form of resistance to white beauty standards. However, the commodification and appropriation of these features by mainstream culture have often stripped them of their original cultural context and significance. Moving into the 20th and 21st centuries, Radke addresses how the fitness industry has capitalized on the obsession with shaping and toning the butt, offering an array of exercises, diets, and products to help consumers achieve a culturally desirable backside. The rise of athleisure wear, like yoga pants, has simultaneously fetishized and normalized the butt in day-to-day -day life. Cosmetic surgery and its increasing popularity are also discussed. Radke outlines how procedures like the Brazilian butt lift have become commonplace, signifying wealth and devotion to self-improvement through the modification of one's body, while also carrying significant risks and perpetuating unrealistic body standards. Furthermore, Radke touches on the impact of social media which has amplified both the obsession with and scrutiny of the butt. Platforms like Instagram have created spaces for influencers to profit from showcasing their bodies, leading to an intense focus on image and appearance and influencing beauty trends worldwide. The author also discusses how LGBTQ plus communities have championed the butt, both sexually and culturally, pushing against heteronormative boundaries and celebrating alternative expressions of beauty and desire. In examining the butt as a symbol of sexuality, Radke investigates its role in pornography and how the sexualization of the butt has varied across different cultures and historical periods. She points to movements like twerking, which have roots in West African dance, and how such movements have been adopted and adapted in various cultures, often becoming sites of cultural controversy. Radke additionally considers the legal and ethical dimensions of our interaction with the butt. She provides an overview of laws that police certain expressions of the buttocks, such as indecency regulations, and discusses societal taboos surrounding nudity and the human body. The book considers contemporary debates around body positivity and the ways in which they intersect with the history and representation of the butt. Radke discusses how activists and thinkers advocate for a more inclusive understanding of beauty, challenging the harmful ideals perpetuated by history popular culture, and the media. In closing, butts a backstory suggests that the human butt is more than just a body part. It's a lens through which we can view shifting ideals of beauty, understand the effects of racism and sexism, and explore the ways in which cultures have celebrated or denigrated the human form. Heather Radke's work is both a cultural retrospective and a call to examine how and why we assign meaning to our bodies urging readers to reflect on the countless ways we are influenced by and continue to reshape our perceptions of the posterior. 
You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.